easier to eliminate them all. Will he do that, guys and gals, as they go back to their jobs? One thing is for sure, we're about to stand on our feet as we welcome a legend and good friend, first name Brian, last name Nubs. Welcome, Brian, <laughs> as our celebrity judge tonight, hey. my friend. Avi, it's great to talk to you again. This show is awesome. I love it. I can't wait. And I thank you for making me uh, the special judge tonight. I am excited. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to judge honestly. And I am just, I'm stoked, dude. I'm ready to get nasty. You're so ready. I'm telling you. Let's get this thing started, baby! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> First question for you, is it a criteria? Is one of the criteria for some of these individuals, we have 131, as you know, you're part of them. We got 131 Hall of Famers for the world of sports, music, pro wrestling, not to mention Oscar, Grammy, Tony, Emmy, Golden Globe, AMA, WGA, and Olympians, all competing for the pride of the prize, but it's not merely the size. Do you have to get nasty to win this thing? Do you have to be a resident of Nastyville to be able to win this tournament? Well, you gotta get just plain that. Gordon Ramsay fillet or William Shakespeare play. I can hear you all headbanging as if you're listening to some mid-90s green day. So put your hands together for a legendary human being and friend. Last name Ray. First name Stevie. Mr. Stevie Ray, welcome, my friend, to this match tonight. What is going on, Mr. Avi Klein, brother? The professor is in the house, man. I appreciate the intro. I'm not going to be like Vince Russo and not sell the intro. I'm not going to okay. be like that. Okay. That's why we wiped the floor with him last week. Bro. You did? You went top vote getter? Was that a surprise? It wasn't a surprise to the masses. Man, it was like eating a cheap taco. Wow. Wow, Stevie Ray, guys and gals, in this tournament, uh, one of the favorites, guys and gals and pals, to win this whole thing. Stevie, I do know you have a ton of respect. Buster Douglas, Byron Scott, Jacques Rougeau. Any thoughts on tonight's match, my friend? Because you'll be judging tonight, along with our viewers. Byron Scott, what can I say about this guy, bro? Yeah. When a guy comes in and plays better than Norm Nixon, that's a somebody. Buster Douglas did the unthinkable. He did what I told people was going to... Somebody was going to do, and he did it before I thought it was going to happen. You know what that was? What was that? He stopped Mighty Mike. He did. He did. But your other guest, Mr. Jacques Rougeau. Jacques Rougeau. What's his name? The legendary Jacques Rougeau, one of the most acclaimed families in pro wrestling history, the Rougeaus. Well, you know I've been in the ring with this man. Yes. Did you know that? Met several times. This man tried to come in the ring and take me and my brother's title. Him and his partner, Carl Willett. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes. I got a lot of respect for him. Yes, sir. But let's see how good he is tonight. He finds the best in people and is truly allergic to defeat. As my co-host and intertwining thoughts, his viewpoints are well worth the front row seat. He's multifaceted, diverse, and impactful like the mid-2000s Miami Heat. His heart is a champion like an Olympic medal winning athlete. Is he a favorite to win this tournament? Yeah. He never takes a back seat. Put that in a tweet. So let's welcome a good friend and human being. Last name Babcock, first name Pete. Pete, welcome. Oh, hey, B. <laughs> hey, Coach, how you doing? It's good I'm to good, see doing you. Doing well, B. How about you? I, I'm blessed. Uh, and, and I'm gonna tell you something, Pete. It was so good seeing you in um, in uh, Connecticut at Coop's, uh, you know, uh, your Hall of Fame. Man, it was, yeah. it was just really good seeing. You. I'm glad I had a chance to spend a little time with you and talk, man. I, I love uh, you to uh, death. I, I had felt the same way. And Avi, you you've already covered this, but not, I don't want to embarrass Byron, but Jerry West said it the best. I mean, there's nobody in the game, in the history of the game, who's done a better job of representing the game and representing life than Byron Scott. For our fans in the UK, enjoy that last sip of tea because you'll always be smiling with glee. Two rhymes in this bar? Nah, let's make it three. Let's give a warm welcome to the newest member, guys and gals. Tonight, officially, his talk show will be debuting live. An intelligent, kind man. Last name... London, first name Jeremy. Jeremy, welcome, my friend, again. Hello, Avi. Wow. You know, you say that I'm humble, but yes, then sir. you go and you light me up like that. <laughs> it's 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 not easy. It's hard not to hype you up. It's hard not to hype you up. <laughs> <laughs> Grand tournament, will anyone give him a scare? Nope, that word is in his vocabulary. So let's welcome in my friend and co-host, the one and only Brian Blair. Brian, welcome, my friend. Hey, Avi, you're just un You're incredible, brother. You just oh. never cease to amaze me. Thank you very much. I could say the same about you, and I will, my friend. We just spoke before uh, the broadcast. You mean a lot to me. You are a very honest person, which is rare in today's society. You help many people, uh, and you do it under the radar because it's not about 
the pomp and circumstance with you, my friend. You stand for something. You're a man of substance. I've always told you that, and I'm glad that our audience is seeing that as well, my friend. Well, thank you, Avi. You're a great man as well. I mean, <laughs> you're totally entertaining nonstop. I don't know where you get the energy, but I wish I could bottle it up and take it in a pill. That's great. Heights all of us can only dream of, yet his reality is much more fulfilling than anything the Sandman can sprinkle. His wholehearted and genuine sentiments can inspire anyone, even a lazy old Rip Van Winkle. More than anything else, he has restored my faith in humanity because of his intellect, grace, humility, heart. They're all qualities that I never take for granted. Hall of Famer, multi-time Olympian, poet, scholar, host. These are some of the words that some have chanted. I concur, but before anything else, I use the word brother. To me, he's a big brother, but don't get it twisted. He can still twist and bend anyone in this tournament like no other. So get up off your seats as if you're getting wild at a rock concert hosted by Lincoln Park. As we greet humanity at its best and welcome as always a legend. Last name Henry, first name Mark. Mark Henry, welcome my friend. What's going on, man? Listen, I I always love the introductions, uh, <laughs> but you put something in there new this time. A little new. And I, who knew? <laughs> we all know. Uh, I'll tell you, man. Area fools. You know Hope what? I thought. Cow. Would, you, would you agree with that, Mark? Would you concur? I, I I love that. I think that there should be a dictionary of fools. It it it, it wouldn't take very long to write because it would start. <laughs> <laughs> it would start with, I know better, and it would end with, but I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> That's right, and I'm not gonna listen. Uh, I refuse to listen, which is how we learn. Man, it is February, Mr. Mark Henry. Uh... <laughs>